Welcome to Reaper Life 3, Episode 17. In this episode, we bring you the entire High Road chain, and we are level 18. With me today, I have Ina Morata. Thanks for being here. Live via satellite from the backwoods to Pennsylvania. What's up? I'm so excited to have you here. Um, I've really missed you. So the viewers don't know that you actually moved right after Reaper Life 3 and you've been out of game for like a month and it is just, it's just not the same without you. So I'm just like super happy that you're even here doing this intro with me. So uh, I just want to let you know that, you know, we all miss you and, and uh, we're all really looking forward to having you back as part of the crew. Okay. Can't wait for the day that happens. Little advice for y'all: if you think, oh, "Oh, it's fine, I can play DDO on a satellite connection," don't. You won't be able to. I really appreciate you getting online just for this. Um, yeah, I know that your connection isn't good enough to play, but it's good enough to do an intro here in Teamspeak. So thank you very much. So. Reaper Life 3 is almost at its conclusion. We only have one episode, I think, after this one. And so, you know, want to know how you feel about the whole project, the theme. You know, in, in this series, we were trying to show people, like, hey, you can step up the skulls doing it at a base normal level, and you can do these uh, heroic, you know, mid-skull quests quickly and efficiently, and there's a decent amount of Reaper XP to be had. A lot of these quests, you know, we're scoring... You know, at this level range, you know, we're doing some of these quests six, seven, eight, nine minutes, and we're, you know, we're getting 15, 16, 17 on a Reaper XP a pop for that. And I think that's a pretty good re rate of Reaper XP for heroics. And like we're showing, you know, it's not hard when you work together as part of a team. So, if it's a very phenomenal concept, showing that you don't have to hang out in legendaries to break in the Reaper XP. You can get a fairly decent amount in heroics, especially higher heroics. You don't have to be one of the highest end Reaper players on the server or the game in order to enjoy that either. You can easily do this with about 20 or 30 Reaper points. If you have any group and good group, you could even shave it down to maybe about 10 or 15. So I thought, you know, the, this series doing the R5s, for some viewers, that's not going to be as compelling. Um, some people want to see the higher skull stuff, but, you know, we did that in Reaper Life too. And here, with what we did was showing that R5s can be done so quickly with a, with a well-organized group, I think for some people that's even more compelling because they know there's still so much of the community who's still, you know, doing R1s at Elite Streak level thinking that there's no Reaper XP to be had in Heroics. And... And I'm really happy that we're showing, like, hey, you know, we can knock these out in six, seven, eight, nine minutes and, and you know, get a decent amount of Reaper XP per quest. It's not the slog people are thinking it is. When we started the series, I really didn't know what to expect in, in some ways because I've never been the kind of a person to, you know, closely watch my completion time. So I didn't really have a good idea, like, how long were we spending in these quests? how quickly could we do these? Like, I knew that we could do them quickly, but, you know, in terms of, like, XP per minute, I'm not that much of a numbers person, so I was pleasantly surprised, you know, now that we're almost at the end of the series with how quickly we were able to finish some of these. So I'm wondering about, you know, how do you feel in terms of, like, your expectations at the start compared to the reality now that we're almost through with the project? Did you did, did expectations meet the reality for you or were things different in the end it exceeded them i was kind of expecting it to take several minutes more depending on the length of the quest because yeah it is harder to run an r5 compared to an elite or even an r1 but seeing the times and seeing it was maybe a minute or two for the long quests and a matter of seconds for the shorter ones it was crazy fast. And I think we could have done them even faster. You know, we, we we weren't trying to Zerg, and we were trying to move quickly, but we weren't full on Zerg. And so we actually, like every quest, we're standing around at the entrance for a minute or two waiting for songs, and that's not to disparage your build at all. But, I mean, if, if we weren't doing that, like we could have shaved at least a minute off of these all, all these quests 
completion times. And since I'm talking about your build, uh, why don't you talk about the build that you were doing for the series? The spell singer bard. A lot of people underestimate it. You only get up to six level spells, so right away you're giving back about three DCs compared to a high end wizard build. But, but in the spell singer trees, so many extra DCs that little advantage is neutralized. You also have access to some pretty cool stuff. You might have seen me mass holding stuff as low a level as level 12. Whereas normally you don't get that until really high heroics. So right there that's a huge advantage of the spell singer bard helping out party DPS. I know that bard, the spell screaming enchantress uh, play style is something you really enjoy. Can you talk about your own personal preferences with running that kind of a build? I like that sort of build that does the top-notch crowd control or insta-kills in the case of the favorite soul or cleric builds I normally run, along with some decent party healing. That's another reason. We didn't have, want to have one dedicated healer in this series, but... I still feel comfortable having some sort of group healing aspect going on, be it the songs, be it... You don't need mass heal to heal heroic reapers. Often, mass cure light, mass cure moderate are enough, or even just airing off the sustaining song if you can get your timing right. A lot of it is practice. I absolutely loved it. You know, once we hit about level 12 when we got our tier 5 stuff, you know, I felt like, you know, with your songs, it almost seemed like we never needed healing and never needed, you know, to shrine because we were just constantly regenerating spell points and hit points because of your awesome songs. You know, another component of Reaper Life 3, speaking to that, was like, it, it almost felt like nothing could hurt us once we got rolling. You know, like, it, we were practically invincible. We were working together so well and we were smashing this stuff uh, relatively easily for us. And in some cases, you know, we're doing these lower skulls than we would be used to. But it just, it all, everything everything came together really well. And um, I was really happy with our performance. Those level 12 tier things are extremely huge. The tier 5s, the cores, you're definitely right about, it's like we hit a whole new level of speed. So do you have any recommendations for an aspiring bard out there who wants to play uh, their bards in, in Reaper mode? Well, for one thing, if you're spell singing, I can't really speak to the war chanter or swashbuckling side as much, so most of my experience from the spell singing side, keep that in mind. But as a spell singer... You have a little bit of DPS with your shouts and sonic blasts and stuff, but your real strength is in improving others via your songs and your crowd control. So focus on that. Don't worry so much about trying to solo stuff. If you're going to be soloing Reapers, you should be playing something other than a bard, or at least other than a spell singer bard. Yeah, you know, I'm actually playing a spell singer right now on Ginger, and... Um... It is definitely more of sort of a party support role, but it does a lot of different things. So for somebody who likes that, who likes doing that, you know, you can throw crowd control, you can throw charms, you can throw heals, you got great buffs, and uh, there's just, I feel like there's a lot of things you can do, and some people like that play style. I love having 15 or 20 different options instead of just, ooh, enemy, smash it. And you know, I found in a little bit of pugging I did, it just seemed like every pug that I joined was really happy to have a bard. And then when they found out I could throw heels too, they were just, you know, thanking me for the bus and thanking me for the songs. And <laughs> it was pretty awesome to go into pugs with that with that build, which you know the build I'm doing is basically the same as the build you were doing a spell screaming kind of, you know, enchanter. Exactly. What you're not, not really doing, the party is doing so much better just due to your presence. So before we wrap this up, do you have any other topics that you want to talk about? I will say, though, that some of this that I can remember, it has been a while, but this is a very fun level. 
Why do you say that? Some of the quests we run, and I don't know if they'll make the cuts specifically, but a lot of them are short with nice little crowds that get con get to control, and one of them is just a straight up charm fest, run and go. Yeah, we, there's actually a lot of level 18s that we do more than any other level for quite a few levels. You know, we got all of High Road, all of uh, IQ One. Uh, we like to do Vision of Destruction, and that was really fun uh, to do the Vision of Destruction. You know, we, we typically do that on R5, and we do it every life. It's just sort of a fun way that we finish off every life is to do a, a Vision of Destruction together. Uh, it's not because it's good, you know, XP per minute or anything. It's just a fun way to end a life for us, so we almost always do it. And, but this is the first time we ever tried to do the R5 VOD with six, and it actually went really well. It's also a great test of your skills because the DC requirements are higher, the enemies hit harder, it is a raid. And if you're locking down stuff in that raid setting like you are in a normal quest, you know you got a good build. Thank you for being here with me today for this, Ina, and we're going to get right on to Reaper Life 3, Episode 17. Y'all enjoy it. Yeah, I gave the plus two to all mine when they had the cards out, and I made a couple extra ones in the bank, too, just in case. So this is another quest that, like, we probably would have done this on R6. Oh, yeah, at least. We usually do this on, like, R7 or R8, don't we? I don't um... Know. Except for the end one. No, we definitely have stepped it up in this one. Lost in the swamp, I don't like doing beyond R5. Cause yeah, yeah the wisp and shit. I, I love it. It seems like most of the videos that I have on my channel, there's like a good chunk of it, me talking shit about plant creatures in this game. It. Double checking to make sure y'all have your songs. Okay, gather for haste. Oh, I already stepped Outside out. Outside the door. The door? We doing it by the door? Take some doing, action. We doing out the door in New Orleans. He's, um, he's so cruelty. Oh, nice. oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen him be a champion before. They were supposed to have fixed yeah, it, but it still happened. Yeah, seen that a few times. Charming run these. Hell yeah. Go, go, go. Let's just, you know, make sure that Dingleberry's with us. Eek! Remnant. Remnant. Awesome. I got level, guys. I'm going to recall out and take it. Cool. Fuck off. I don't give a fuck. Language! This is a family oriented. It doesn't kill everybody's XP anymore, right? It's just his. That and I can't that re -enter? Just dying? Oh, yeah, it's Reaper. Yeah, you can anyway. Like, what are you talking about? If he took level, it would kill everybody's XP. Oh, if he took level, yeah. I'm just saying, like, the re entry penalty, that's only oh. for you, right? Actually, uh, that still affects everyone, it turns out. I had a bad experience oh, with that. It? In TO, uh, Temple of Elemental Evil Part 2. So it's just dying that they changed to where it's just you? Yeah. I mean, at least they did that. That was kind of stupid. You get punished for somebody else, you know. We're not at hit points.
collectible. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Is collectible here? A whole pack of wolves that apparently a, did not like is collecting that collectible. There's a dire bear fighting a freaking famine reaper over here and it's great. I'll uh, try to stay with the group there, Nim. Yeah, Nim. Oh, Wait, don't go up there. Zergy, Nim make Zergy Nim bear? Don't go up there, we don't need oh, aggro on that. Well, I was gonna go kill it and do something to so just stand there. Oh, I got Bear Hunter. Nice. Well, I'll fr I freaking went up here. Now I'm fighting a heroic soul all by myself. Okay, what? What are you guys doing Where, back where'd there? you go? Yeah, this is a Hogspog. Charming run, dude. I can't charm an animal. What look like a druid? Strap on or strap off, bro? Remnant. Ooh, 72 remnant. I, I wanted to get mama 72 remnant. Let's go. You selfish bastard. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, only my mom can call me a bastard. <laughs> Collectible over here, I think. Yep. Measures pack. Wonder who all these adventurers were that the wolves ate and just left their pack. Probably Barias. Us in 2012. Right. Yeah, us in 2012. Stay to the right here. Right, right. Just drag all the wolves to the shrine, please. Or to the carnage reaper works too. You rounded them all up for us. Yeah, that was a nice long distance charm for sure. Hello, this is Charm calling long distance. Do you accept the charges? <laughs> I mean, off the distance of my screen, I see that Carney Reaper charging towards the shrine and suddenly uh, taking out some wolves. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and large is your friend. Absolutely. Yeah, it's boss. It's a uh, really boss soul there. Okay. You might as well use the shrine now, Mama. There. Or you come back after this fight, whatever. And large was boss back in the day too when DC casting was big, but it fell out for a long time there and people, you know, stopped taking it. I know I did because you know, just didn't need it anymore, but and DC casting's back in the big way. The Reapers came you know, Reaper mode came back, D C casting came back. And... Oh yeah, you can throw a charm in a group of mobs that hasn't detected you yet. That's right. So I mean, awesome. Mass charm and fuck R ten and they just all kill each other, fuck. Name singer. Hey, thanks for finding that trap for me. Or a circle of no death, problem. even. Fossil. I do gotta go like right at 2.30 or I'll, I'll be late. So let you know. that lives around here in the right, be aware of them. Mm 
I mean, that bear, who's now a rug. Here's the yep. one cut through. All these lazy adventurers leaving their packs discarded in random places. <laughs> Next to a large amount of giant spiders. I got a fresh haste for me. Oh, you got me one. Yeah, I'm throwing them. Thank you. I, I honestly, for a split second, I thought that bear that came out from the side was you, Nimbund. Behind us. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. We got that a lot in Bear College. <laughs> <laughs> Behind us. I'm trying to hit us from behind, guys. Go, go, go. Without a reach around, those bastards. Just mute them, dude. Oh, I'm helpless, poisoned up or something. Champ chest. Remnant over here. In the north. 69. Alright. Oh man, this is. I got a uh, figure of justice level. And uh, it's pretty badass to have that on a melee, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, if you're a wisdom melee, it'd be boss. It's just. On uh, melee, you can't fit them fucking spell pen feats in and shit. So if anything's That's got any true. spell resistance, you're just fucked. That, Which yeah. really, there's not much in the game that does. I mean, unless you got a bunch of past lives, you know, it might not matter. I got one favorite soul to um, wizard, but like yeah, I that's got not bad. That's plus five. I mean, I got a thirty-nine DC, and technically, I can get spell cra um, focus mastery on my trinket because I only put insight and intimidate on it. I'm not even trying. I mean, fuck, that would probably hit. You know, some mobs, at least casters and shit, have a little fortitude too. It's definitely a, a, a trick. If you can put it in your build as a druid melee, like, probably not yours because you're multi class, you know, might as well if you can fit it in a Oh, yeah, the DC would suck on this one. But yeah, if you're pure. I forgot to get some more stone skin. Uh, between me and Tanks, we got the stoniness for the whole party. And soon, Ina. Who's Sue and Ina? Sue and Ina. It's a, a new comedy show about two girls named Sue and Ina. Oh, okay. I don't get it. Charm Slam, please. Line. I don't know, sometimes the punchline doesn't make it to the end. He makes sense. Just not in the order that it makes sense in. That's a quote that's gonna haunt me all my life because of how accurate it is. I wish I could teleport around like that. What spell is 13, that? 13, 12. Nice job. D doors up. A, a spell I didn't game. even use them for their effect. I just used them for that crystal. And, and Sykes would be like, where are these crystals coming from? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> that was funny. I'm back. And you were like, hasn't it always been there? The game is breaking.
Whoa, that NPC just one-shotted a champion wolf. He needs to join our party now. Yep. We could boot you. That works. That'd be a, a smart exchange, actually. Good mean it works. I mean, like, Voodoo can tank. Like, I don't need to be here to tank. Tanks can tank. I can also say stupid shit, too. I mean, that all he does? <laughs> That's all I do. I just stand there and I say stupid shit. Just tank and talk shit. Speaking of tank, I'm thinking like Volnut might be one of those Paliardis when I when, if I ever get working on him. Yeah, that'd probably be really boss for some. You know, they don't have much of pass lives and shit. It'd probably be a pretty good build. You know, you should go the hit points. It wisps and the shit. champion. Be careful, guys. Go after it first, please. Try to trip it. Yeah, or freeze it or something. I got him. He doesn't look very got. Damn, that didn't last very long. I don't think he saved. Got him. I'm in. Out in the open. Lost soul, another run over where the will o wisp first spawned. I heard the fucking thing like Kadoof, like you fell. Kadoof. It's not like a Russian the name. Thing. Like, maybe, that's how it sounds. Maybe just one of your kids throwing something at your head. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Fuck, I gave Dominic his happy meal when he <laughs> ate that. I think he passed out now. <laughs> he looks in the mirror when he goes to the bathroom. He's got darts sticking out of the back of his head. <laughs> so I was walking to the bathroom the other day, and I, I walked by, and like all of a sudden, a Chinese star flies out of the fucking bedroom and hits the bathroom door right when I'm getting ready to like walk into the bathroom, like one of them little sucker sticker Chinese star things, you know, that sticks to the door and shit. I'm like, shit, I got hit in the crossfire. I'm gonna take a piss. Yeah. I was like, I had 10k stars going. Man, those shuriken builds, they're so freaking OP. Run that. Okay, Dryad, we get it. You're dead. I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, it sounded like that same Dryad got off four times in a row. I like that. <laughs> if, if Prince ever played this game, he would probably have taken that Dryad and put him in the band. I think Apollonia might have been in Dryad. Freaking, uh, Carmen Electra got her performer named Carmen Electra from Prince. Seriously, it sounds like they just heckin' came when they died. Mm-hmm. Okay, Joe, there's a champ chest back here. Right, As he two. jumps out of the shadows to run back. <laughs> <laughs> all our champ chests, all the loot wars come running. The dagger in the night. Cy actually didn't watch this episode. He's like, oh, I'm the only thing in the night. <laughs> Joe, do you know where the traps are in the end fight? You mean all those up on the pillars? Yeah. I think I know where most of them are. Okay, so once we get there, just do those right away. 
we'll don't, wait. Uh, don't do the fight, or...? No, we'll do the fight. You just get to the traps as soon as possible. Oh, right, yeah, that, that's what I meant. You want me to just go straight to the traps and not participate in the fight? Yep. Yeah, we can handle Okay, that, cool. Sure. Yeah. Matter of, some lives, when we run this, if I'm a ranged tune, I would actually go up there for the fight, too. Because less earth grabs. Not, you're not like completely safe, but like you're mostly safe. I mean, safe. that's not really a perch, like you know, cheat or anything either. You know what I mean? So that's C yeah. You know, they put that shit there on purpose. <laughs> well, like you, you still get acid blast, I'm and you, the earth. if you get aggro of an earth ele, you can still get earth grabs. So like, you're not safe there. It's just an advantage point for right. uh, aggro. Melee. I can't melee. It is all it is. Yeah, the only thing that'll slow me down is the the jumping around because you know that's just such a pain in this game. But yeah, it you always know, takes like five or ten minutes to do that shit. If this is real D and D, like we would have a ten foot pole in one of our backpacks and we would just lay it down and just climb across. See, if this were pen and paper D and D, all of us would have a ten foot pole in our backpack. <laughs> <laughs> that always cracked me up and. Pin and paper, it's like, you have your 10 foot pole? Why the hell do I need a 10 foot pole? It's like, you always need a 10 foot pole. And 100 How foot of rope. How the hell am I supposed to carry <laughs> a 10 foot pole? Exactly. I wouldn't DPS that mob with a 10 foot pole. My ex wife always had a bucket in her backpack. You never know when you might need a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, never I guess that makes pen some paper. sense. I mean, I carry painkillers in mine. I might play, but. Awesome. Now, like most of the starter packs in fifth edition, comes with ten foot uh, rope. You basically get it for free just for rolling up a character. Man, I really don't even know anybody around here that likes play. to play. Unzip in the air. Um, there's these like websites like Roll Twenty and all that where you can play online. Like every time I tell anybody. Around about here, they're like, "Oh, isn't that where those ones where the people get all into it? Won't be somebody else." I don't <laughs> like, tell people I play D and D. Right, dude. Like, isn't that the devil? Yeah, the satanic scare. <laughs> that then, devil then, worship. Then their next question is, "Don't you take jingle jangle?" <laughs> yeah, go what is it? Goblins and gargoyles. Griffins and gargoyles. I tell my nieces and nephews they think it's cool that I pay, play D&D. &D. Damn it, the Plague Reaper got wrecked. I remember back in like 2011, if, if you saw someone with 2k hit Don't points like this. Chest. How we doing on those traps up there? Getting them. So far, I've only fallen once, so. And doing better than me, bro. Twelve gets us in Genius D. I think the only person that I don't like telling about my pen and paper situation is my grandma, because she'll, she'll be like, you don't play with fire, you'll get burned by the devil. Boy, if she only knew you hung out with a trans witch. Oh god. She would sit down and talk to me for hours. Sounds like she a sandwich. Knew. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I could go for a Hello. trans witch right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, come over here. Two trans witches <laughs> right here. <laughs> nice jump, dude. Ooh, almost overshot it. But... Seriously, though, if if Nim's grandma knew about my home situation, her head would explode. She no, she's she um uh, she just would have a lot to say. And she wouldn't. She wouldn't be like. Nye, nye, nye. She'd be like, "Well, you see, you're, 
you know, you're a beautiful child of God, and, and, and you can still be saved. You just need to resist the temptation that's naturally befolded upon you, upon the sins of Adam and Eve. And I'm like, Grandma, shut up. <laughs> All right, this is going to be the last one for Ingenious D. You better listen to your grandma, dude. Oh, God. People have tried to tell me that. I just don't care. Voices. Awesome. Who are you? 11.23. Probably nice. closer to the 10.23 nice. range. I didn't go, say, go so far as say we're focused. Well, I said seen focus. And oh, that's, okay. that's, you know, that's the difference there. Let's go. But we're doing. Not focusing, we're doing. I feel like, finally feel like I'm not going to puke all over my keyboards. That's a plus. My shoulder pain's finally gone. Let's do this. Can somebody make me a transwitch? <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of estrogen. That'll do the trick. <laughs> Some whipped cream on top. I could probably make a small army of trans witches. What about, sounds like a spell. What about a finger size, yes. bite size trans witch? And Chrissy's into that Wiccan. You know, like a bunch of books and stuff on it. Yeah, so am I. Hell, I'm surprised she's not right more now. into this game, you know. She loves all like the magic and when you know the lore type stuff and shit. Charm everything? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You might want to start off in older Dungeons & Dragons, because uh, Dungeons & Dragons mythos evolved into its own thing the further it got along, but closer to basic and AD&D, &D, it borrowed from act like Cthulhu mythology and all that, you know, old Mythology. Mm -hmm. They all probably never Lost thought you around and playing. Oh, you have that too, one, but... Mama. I mean, you gotta get a group. It's so time consuming. I mean, I just don't even know anybody that likes to play around here. Gary, oh, you gotta understand. I live in a small town of like Hickville, USA, bro. You know the Bible Belt and shit. <laughs> I'm unzipping the Fear Reaper. Oh yeah, I definitely hear you. My ex-girlfriend got married in Indiana and. A little town where she had to walk like 20 minutes just to get to a store. Right. Like, I mean, if you want some corn, we got plenty of that. Other than that, we ain't got much. Cornfield. Far as the eye can see. You can make some good booze off of corn, though. Yeah, there's, oh, yeah. you got that around here, too. Some old corn mash moonshine. And if you modify your car, you can, use, you can use that booze to power up your car too. Ethanol and all. No charms here. It's not going to be necessary. Fear Reaper. Kill it all. Hey Ginger, for that uh, corrupt video file that you had, did uh, you try messing with it in uh, VLC at all? Yes. And that didn't do it? No. I do know that... I, you know, when I ran that repair program on it... And I was able, I was, you know, I started to click preview, but then it wanted a code. It wanted me to pay for it. Like, it got an image up. So it, it was able to fix something. I don't, you know, I have no idea if the whole thing was fixed. What was the name of that program? Let me see. I'm going to have I'm gonna have to find it out after this quest. Yeah, yeah, we, we can deal with it later, but... Just 
sorry if I'm going. Traps. Now there's a really small chance that this chest is a mimic, it turns out. Does it look like really, I, I wish there was mimic. a small chance that any chest could be a mimic. They need to make like that would be kind of like cool. barrels and boxes that can be mimics. And like if it was, you know, you get something, you know, extra. Like those See, if they made barrels, or something, you know. if they made barrels and crates, you know, possibility to mimic. I think it should only be ones that you would, you know, break, you know, for breakables. And then, you know, when you broke it is when it activated the mimic. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, yeah, that, that's that totally would be bad. Be, right, if you broke it, I think that. Also, that there should be cloaks that drop that can be cloakers too. That'd be like, crazy. You try to pick it up, and then all of a sudden, you, an animation of like a black square just like rushes over you, and there's a freaking cloaker. That'd be kind of cool. Don't forget to get your cow poop. Ew, this ritual candle smells bad. It must be yeah, patchouli. You don't want to know why. What kind of ritual were they doing? Remy. Hey, you wanted organic candles. This is what you get when you get an organic candle. And you don't want to lose <laughs> out on the sticks, you tell Ooh, us. 57. When I said organic, I mean like organic, not organs. You know what organic means? Organ anic. I'm not. I'm not. Psychraft says virtual dub is a possibility one. It's a free open source, so it's a bit complex, you know, compared to some, but uh, it's pretty decent. Psychraft is so handy. He's he's my not only is he my audio visual expert, he knows more he has more obscure knowledge about hardware than anybody I've ever met. Nice. Man, Dread helped me out a lot. I mean when I was playing a long time ago, I had a bunch of computer problems and he like ran me through it like he fucking set up like all kinds of shit on my computer. I wish he'd come back. Me. But he's he's a genius new, with that shit too. He's got a new girl, a new kid. Yeah. Sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he fucking built. I mean, like, really went with hours and hours, dude, on the phone with me, running me through Champ some shit. Because I couldn't log on. I couldn't get on the game forever. For like days. And I forget what the fuck was causing it, but he fixed that shit. Remember, we don't have to bother with the innkeeper at all unless we want to say exit. No, we're just going to the end. Good call. Yeah, Psychraft is saying that virtual dub is actually better at dealing with corrupted file than a lot of the uh, professional software out there that you have to pay for. Unzipping the archer. I got a 72% dodge right now. My flight Damn. and caning dodge. I mean, it's just a boost. You I'm know. shining. You mean 73, right? 75. I could get it higher, actually, but... I got a I don't five. have a... My max dodge standing isn't, isn't all the way up. I got... I can get up to a 25 with flight, but that's about it. No, I hit that flight and then the uh, uncanny dodge because neither one of them, you know, they don't, the dodge cap doesn't fuck them, so they stack. Oh, yeah, you got the uncanny dodge from Barb, right? Yeah, Barbarian. I just got the, uh, you know, the uncanny, not the improved one, so I only got four levels, but. Super powerful. Yeah, I used to eat it all the time back when I. I'm barbarian and shit on tanks. I'd fucking run in and gather up a bunch of mobs and just hit Go. that shit. Charm everything. 
Somebody go to the right and get those breakables. I'll go left. Yeah, Bard's uh, swashbuckler Bard's, they get uncanny dodge too. Everybody on the boss, tra charm all the trash. Yeah, dude, uncanny dodge is a fucking boss. I suppose you get improved, because that's 50%, dude. That's one, huge. I meant to kill it, I meant to charm it. I mean, you get up to 100% with that shit. Careful about getting spread out here, because these rats will get you. You dirty Stay rat. Stay on the main boss. First guy's dead, boss go to down. Twizzler. I thought Twizzler was our friend. Not this one. Well, it's Twilizen, but... Twilizen. Yeah. Macabre. Fifty-two remnants. Nice. Don't forget about the collectible down here. Tore that thing up, dude. Oh yeah, that was a quickie. I think we have to kill all the trash for this guy to. No. No. Okay. It just has to all be dealt with. So out of, uh, I've been keeping full uh, episodes since level 7 to now, and it only took a little over 100 gigabytes of storage. Eleven twenty-three. Nice. Good job, guys. Let's do this. And an R5. Yeah, Feli was... Yeah, notorious for he that. He was shit. really creative. I mean, for real, we'd all be in the quest waiting, and, like, you'd think he's getting ready to be there, and be like, oh, I forgot this or that on the other two. <laughs> oh, shit. That dude would be at the tavern, like, waiting for all of his... his, uh... That cozy and ear dweller things to spawn and then That's recharge. What we just about. And everybody else is in the raid waiting for him. Yeah. I'm over as a boy scout. Checking for traps all the way. Haste means go. I know you ain't seen it all life, but there you go. Yeah, between me and Tinks, we have Strength, we got Arcane, and we got Divine, so we don't really need the Bear Trap. I can yeah, do Divine. We, we might need to detain you. <laughs> I'm Arcane. I detest Bear Traps. It's Bear Cruelty. Awesome. Have you ever noticed that if you like Trap. hard select a remnant and pick it up, it stays in your focus orb even after you pick it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's irritating. Mm -hmm. It makes me look for it more. Yep. Yeah, you think too. there's another one? I have a 59 DC on my enchantment stuff now. That's bossing her. Waiting. Plague Reaper coming in. Coming into the party, you mean?
This room empty. Two remnants. Remnant, remnant, remnant. Three, Three remnants. remnants. Uh, uh, uh. Floating remnant. Oh, there's four. They're collectible. Four of them. Yeah, back here. Ooh, I got this 58. This is like some kind of trove of treasure. Yeah, I got 62 yeah, for one of those that. stacks. I just got screwed there on like four runners, so I probably got ten total. <laughs> yeah, same here. I think once out of ten lives, I get like a good stack of remnants. But I get pretty lucky with gear. I've always been pretty lucky with gear, I have to admit. There has been a few items that have given me real pain. But... Yeah, I remember when uh, 20 was the cap, I got my epic red dragon armor and my sword of shadows in like three weeks. So a long time ago, I stopped running with people I didn't know because that shit, like people not passing gear and shit. Oh yeah, that shit sucked. Like this, I was in this Chinese group and this barbarian took the fucking, that, whatever that staff is called from the web. Like, dude, that shit pissed me off because I was trying to get Twilight. that thing forever, dude. <laughs> Twilight yeah. Sparkle, and I'm like, fuck this, I'm never raiding again with people. I, I remember when, know, Wiz, when that came out, Wizbot ran 80 webs in a row until he finally got it. He wanted it so bad, it's all he did is run caught in the web and get t raid timers until he got it. <laughs> Yeah, I was out of High Lords at that time. I mean, when it came out, that shit was a boss. You know, and that was set. horrible getting loot after that. Yeah, being in this guild, you're going to get pretty much every piece of raid loot you want. You might not get it as fast as you want to get it, but you pretty much guaranteed to get it. Right. That's the thing. I, I, saw, I was like, fuck it, I'm done. You still get it faster than you would get it outside of the guild, even if you don't get it as fa like right away. You know what I mean? Like... Like, even if you have to do the raid, like, five times, that's way more than a non-guilty would get it. You know what I mean? Like, some people have to run it 35 times just to get a litany. Y'all worry about DPS and the boss. I'm gonna aggro and fascinate Umbral Rats. Yeah, everybody just dump on the fucking boss. Don't worry about anything else. He dies, we're good, you know what I mean? Yeah, the W is all that matters. What a butthole, he's bragging about summoning rats all day. <laughs> nice job. I think Ina's put him to sleep. Yep, nice job. Chest is open. What was our time? 7.12. Nice. Nicely done. But, you know, I, w I was talking to uh, one in. of our fans last night and I, I told him like when you have pen and paper experience this game is like not right, too frightening so I, never played, I never played any MMO, MMO at all until I played this game you know what I mean like Me really I haven't played any ever, other one ever Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction expansion is the only like, one I if I told you some of the things that like it took me years to learn in this game you'd probably think I was ignorant dude Shit, I'm I've still learning. played any other songs. I've never played any others but this one. 
I wouldn't assume anyone's ignorant because like some of this stuff is just complex unless you know the game that is kind of loosely based off of. Right, I mean just everything, dude. Like, so I just know, you know, just all the lingo and just everything. I didn't know what the fuck people were saying. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, the lingo is this game's fault. Like, I, when I joined and they're like DPS VON, and I'm like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? What the fuck is DPS? Freaking, uh, yeah, like, Revy and Bryce had to explain that. Right. Flagging? What the hell? <laughs> like, flagging was a weird one for me. Be flagged. I flagged myself looking for a group, dude. I was lucky I had go, go, go. someone in my guild who actually knew the stuff from Head Start, so he was well-versed in it. Head start. The initial, like, pre bit, when the game first came out. Like, the betas and shit. Yeah, I thought Head Start was like a preschool program. Yeah, I used to work for it. Oh well, shit, I had no mic or nothing when I first started playing, so I really couldn't talk to people, you know. It was, it's hard to communi really communicate, you know, over typing and shit. And, like, I remember Voodoo, even like first year we ran it or something, like I type in. Dude, I didn't know my laptop had a mic until I played this game. God, you know, when I started I was... playing, I was on my laptop and it would get so hot I had to keep ice packs under it. Nevin used to do and that. Adam Mac were running all together. And... Yeah, I used to do that. He's like, well, just go and put, do the, the talk thing and, and turn on the audio. And I'm like, I tried it and then I talked and they're like, oh, we hear you. I'm like, oh, shit. I guess I do got a mic. Like, Save some of this delicious info for your interview. <laughs> Fucking had a mic this whole time. You know? <laughs> and that's just one of the things right there. You can know. get these here. We'll get this chest and these three traps. I remember once in the middle of a, I think it was a raid, a uh, shroud. One of my, I kept the ice packs like there was a towel and then sealed in one of those sandwich thingy bags. <laughs> the bag broke. Water started <laughs> seeping everywhere. I freaked out. Oh my god. Out. I had the exact same experience. That's so crazy. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Shit, what? I'll electrocute. Oh, the okay. ice pack started leaking water. I see. What you I know, because the ice would melt so fast. The, the laptop was getting so hot. Right. I kept a towel there, but still, I was like, oh, God. Just get you a fan. I didn't have a fan at the time. I, I right. used an external laptop cooling fan, and that actually heats up your computer, because it uses I, yeah. USB and, and battery power. I found it didn't really help much. Hmm. It contributed to the overheating because it uses it, it clocks your computer even more because it uses your computer power. Yeah, this one I and got I had now, it plugged it's in all the time. I didn't use and battery. Air cool thing on it, like it uses the air to cool the water or whatever. I watched a tutorial on how to uh, make a desktop uh, vodka cool, and if I ever get a desktop, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to hook up like a vodka bottle into it. That'd be kind of cool. I would probably do something with like a cool bottle though. Yeah, the, he even showed you uh, showed you how to make the vodka really? bottle like Lost work. Soul back there. Go go go! I got turned around, went the wrong way. Woo. Straight to the left. Where's your brother? Leave Billy alone, he's slow. Muscle. Billy's dead. So slow Billy's he's down a rug. <laughs> Awesome. 
We're doing the loop run and going straight up. Uh, do the loop. So we don't get a red DA in the end fight. That won't take a minute. I'm gonna try and do red DAs or. We yeah, we might lag slow. anybody in the Slayer area. We we won't want to lag out Orion. If you get to tell, are you taking a shower? Because I'm lagging my instance. Get out of the shower. Are you get taking a shower with him? Don't wash your hands. I'm in an instance right now. Remnant by me. Oh, nothing makes you feel more hungry than bread baking. Oh, it just fills the house with this beautiful aroma. Mm. Yes. I feel good. Lost soul. How about you, mommy? You need to try? I will be shining. You can go ahead and try and we can get this started. Like, there's such a long dialogue here. Okay. I can hear NPCs and uh, mobs and plague reapers fighting outside the walls. I can Beautiful, remember when this it? quest on R5 was pretty tough for us. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Voodoo. I, I really you. feel when an uh, enchantment spec person really makes this quest a lot easier. Oh, totally, bro. Yeah, big time. I love this level when enlarged animal becomes three minute long. I think I can cast it on you, Tanks. Put up a symbol of persuasion in the center. Yeah, hit me, bro. I don't have it yet. Thank you. Yeah, that's a big boost. Fuck yeah. Carnage Reaper by the boss. Yeah, it's DPS the boss, so her crowd control is shit. Hurt. Well, there's not like there's a lot you can do about it when you get yeah. tossed. Yeah, mm -hmm. you Champ can get hit Fire multiple Reaver times got me. too and stuff. Nice job, guys. Ten minutes, forty-six seconds. 
Oh, I got Glabrazoo Hunter, indeed. Yeah, so did I. Good to race. Ready for race. <laughs>